All right, our next guest won an Emmy Award for her role as Lois Ceruyo on General Hospital. <laughs> now she's starring in Coupling, one of the most talked about new shows of the season. Please welcome Rena Sofer. Do you have enough energy for me after Richard Simmons? Oh, it's... yeah, I have plenty of energy. <laughs> just, uh, just don't talk so loud. <laughs> I'm jumping right now. I know. It, it, he scares you when he starts talking. I know. I saw the whipped cream. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, you're very fortunate. He's in, he's in another room now. <laughs> we have sequestered him into another room. I think so. So we've met before. You did uh, my show. Yep. Yeah, you did like uh, one of those Lilith Fair things or something with I me. I did, I did. Yeah. I uh, I came on the show and you, you know, your character turned me down and well. I went off into. Oh well. Whatever. It's just as well. <laughs> yeah. Look where we ended up and look where you ended up. Exactly. You're, you're on the most talked about show. I, I, the ads are really great for it. The buzz is is great for this show. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you're you're in in the People magazine mm -hmm. ten most talked about. This is I know. This is uh, I have no idea. That, if I'm... That's me right there. I, ha I have <laughs> I have no monitor. <laughs> no. But anyway, that is you, and yes. you're all uh, everybody's all dolled up. Now this is yes. a, tell, what's the show about exactly? Um, it's based it's based on a British series called Coupling, uh -huh. and um, Stephen Moffat um, uh, created the show based on his relationship with his wife Sue Virtue and. Um, it's about him and her and the people they brought into their relationship. So it's a big hit over there. It's in its fourth season. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're kind of um, bringing it all over the place. And this is our version of it here. It, it's very, uh, it's, it's, it's a sexy show. It's a very, yeah. there's a lot of, even the ads that everybody's rolling around with everybody. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, is, it, yeah. Is, is it like Friends Only Naked? Or is it... <laughs> They say that. They say it's friends with sex, but it's actually not. It's very different than friends. Um, there are three boys and three girls. They don't have that at all. No. No. And um, we hang out in a bar that has a couch. They don't have that at all no. either. Um, no, but our show is very different. S different stories. Um, we really focus on relationships and sex, boys' point of view, girls' point of view, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a little um, racier. Than they yeah. do. Yeah, I, I've seen. Uh, it does seem racier. So you're scared of snakes? Are you like snakes, or what about no. snakes? Well, no. I used to. Um, um, I was in People magazine once before, and I was there. I had a pet snake, and there was a picture of me with my snake all around me. I, I had a pet snake what, what when I was younger. What kind? I did too. What kind of snake did you have? Red tail boa. They they squeeze you. They do, <laughs> but they'll only squeeze you if they're going to eat you, and they can only eat you if they can eat you. And yeah. I'm too big for them to eat, yeah, so. Eventually, so do you just keep it for a while and then give it to somebody else after a while? I did. I kept it till it was eight feet long, and then I had to give it away because it was too big to be in the eight house. Eight feet? Well, it could eat you when it was six feet, it seems. No, I don't think so. What, what were you can't feeding? open its mouth that big. What were you feeding it? Rats. You don't want to know. No, I know, because <laughs> I, I had mice as pets, and then I mm -hmm. got a snake, and I had to feed my mice to the snake. I know, and that's terrible. I know. Well, they weren't my pet mice at the time, but then I right. got a mouse that was too big for the snake, and it bit the snake, and it was a horrible thing. Right. And, <laughs> and I was scared of them. I did it to overcome my fear of snakes. Really? Yeah. Mm. But anyway, so yeah. you, you also, this is really <laughs> curious to me, you worked for Tony Robbins, the, the, uh, the ice cream man? The ice cream man. <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, no, he's the motivational speaker, right? Right. I didn't actually Actually, I worked, um, he used to come and do seminars in New York, and um, when he would do them, he would do these big firewalks. This was way before he was Tony Robbins, really rich man with castles everywhere and an mm -hmm. island in Fiji. And he would do these firewalks, and we would come and we would um, just volunteer um, to help out his seminars. What do you mean firewalks? He would, he, we, well, you would have this big bonfire. And, um, and then you would take the coals from the bonfire and you would lay them out into 14-foot walks. And then he would motivate everybody and get them all hyped. And then he would take them outside and we would walk across these coals. What made you do that? I mean, had you well, done I it was before? Young. Yeah. No, well, no, but, you know, it was yeah, exciting. Can, did and, you do it and you don't mm -hmm. burn your feet? I, I burned my feet um, <laughs> once. <laughs> Just, just once. Uh -huh. I was actually, I was in um, Palm Springs doing another walk with him, and uh -huh. it was 55 feet. And once you, <laughs> once you had done the walks, um, you would do it over and over again. And, and sometimes there were people who wanted to walk across, like husband and wife wanted to go together, and best friends. And this one young, like 14-year-old girl wanted to walk across with me. And so I was really tired and didn't want to do it anymore. But I said, okay, and about 
10 feet in, she broke the state she was supposed to stay in and dragged me the other 45 feet across, and I burned my feet. And, oh. Yeah. That's horrible. It was carried what? around for the next two yeah. days, which was great. <laughs> well, you know, it would be fun. You know, Richard Simmons is flammable. <laughs> If you walk across town. <laughs> Coupling premieres September 25th at 9.30 on NBC. Mm -hmm. When we come back, I'll be talking to the audience. You don't want to miss that.